So Donald Trump just had a rally yesterday in Dayton, Ohio. It was the rally where he said that Joe Biden was running against Obama. I mean, there's something still going on there, folks. I hate to say it, but there is. And he said this at the rally. So I just want to know, is Donald Trump the asshole for saying don't pay the teleprompter company? Here's how all this went down. Have a look. Under Biden, the cost of rent is up 30 percent. Groceries are up 30 percent. Everything is up. Like he shops. Is up, bread is up, <laughs> and I can't read this damn teleprompter. Oh my God! Can you believe it? Can you believe it? Tragedy has struck. Just can't go on. This sucker is moving around. I never knew he used a teleprompter at these rallies. I thought it was ad lib. Surprise. It's like reading uh, a moving flag at a 35 mile an hour wind. And then they say Trump's a bad guy because I'll say this. Mm -hmm. Don't pay the teleprompter mm -hmm. company. Don't, Don't pay him. Don't pay. Don't, Don't pay. pay. Don't pay. And they'll say Trump didn't pay me. And they'll say, oh, Trump's a horrible human being. He's terrible. Okay. They gave yeah, me a well. pile of crap that th this is the craziest thing. And look, look at all the television I have up there. I got all the television and they won't say that. They'll say, Trump made a speech. It wasn't so good. Bad optics. So good. You know? Bad optics, folks. Take a look at this. So I've got two articles here. This one is from USA Today, and it dates all the way back from June 9th of 2016. It says, during the Atlantic Cassini, Casino boom in the 1980s, Philadelphia cabinet builder Edward Field Jr. landed a $400,000 contract to build the basis for slot machines, registration desks, bars, and other cabinets at Harris at Trump Plaza. Edward's son, Paul, who was the firm's accountant, still remembers the amount of that bill more than 30 years later, $83,600. The reason? The money never came from Trump. That began the demise of the Edward J. Friel Company, which has been around since my grandfather, he said. Donald Trump often portrays himself as a savior of the working class who will protect your job. But a USA Today network analysis found he has been involved in more than 3,500 lawsuits in the past three decades. And a large number of those involve ordinary Americans like the Friels, like you, and like me. And folks, it doesn't end there. Here's the New Republic has this article that is from 2023, June 16th of 2023. And it says, Donald Trump has a long, long history of not picking up the check. There he is. After pleading not guilty to 37 criminal charges for mishandling classified documents, Trump stopped at the popular Miami restaurant in Versailles. To meet with supporters. During his visit, he could be heard shouting, food for everyone, food for everyone. But he left just after 10 minutes, not long enough for anyone to order anything without paying a single bill, the Miami New Times reported. And it doesn't end there, folks. In his 2004 book, Trump, Think Like a Billionaire, the former president instructed readers to always question invoices, always. Translation, just don't pay. He's been sued for failing to pay dozens of vendors who have worked his resort properties as well as his now defunct fraudulent university. Can you imagine that? The fraudulent university didn't pay its workers. And this penny pinching didn't start when he became a businessman, artist, and designer. Lucy Klebenow recounted a date she had with Trump in the early 1970s. In a 2016 essay for Salon magazine, Klebenow said Trump took her out to an expensive restaurant but didn't have the cash to pay the bill. He promised to pay her back, but never did. And it looks like the apple didn't fall far from the tree. Donald Trump Jr. reportedly proposed to his ex-wife Vanessa with a ring he got for free. How did he get it? According to the New York Post, he agreed to make promotional appearances for the jewelry company in exchange for the ring. Then in 2018, Vanessa divorced Don Jr. in part because he was so cheap that he had to rely on her mother for financial help for her personal needs. Page 6 reported, signing an anonymous source, apparently the family that is cheap, stays together, right? So my question, do you think he's the asshole for not, and he won't pay this bill. Don't, I mean, there, there's no other way around it. Donald Trump is not going to pay this bill. So does that make him the asshole? I think it does. I think it does. The wind is not the teleprompter company's fault, folks. There you have it. Till next time.